Hi there, Ian Dixon here. How are you doing today? Ah, oh, tough times, aren't they? So I've just come off the phone uh, with a client and uh, one of the topics that we talked about was some days we're up and we're good and we're ready to go and some days we're down and we're feeling low and just a two out of 10. And I shared an analogy with him that is how I'm kind of approaching this whole lockdown um, situation from my perspective and I've encouraged clients to do the same and I'm going to share it with you now. So it's literally three, four minutes tops. So if you're interested uh, in understanding as a business owner what you can do when you're up and what you can do when you're down and uh, all things in between, then stick around. If you're new to the channel, do please help us out. I can't begin to tell you how much it helps if you were to subscribe and support us here. Uh, your comments below, are, I will always answer those. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. It's a three, four minute video. Right, so I know that uh, um, you know, I have good days and bad days over the last four weeks, and I'm sure you have had too. Um, and as somebody that promotes and encourages planning and goal setting, um, it's quite difficult when you don't know really how long these things are gonna last and what should I be doing and whether I should be thinking long-term or short-term. So golf, let's talk about golf. So I want you to imagine, uh, well, let's, let's, let's just do this another way. So let's say that the lockdown is an 18 hole round of golf. Let's say it's 18 weeks for argument's sake. And it's a, each week is a hole in, on, the, on the golf course. So, um, so imagine the length of time with which we're locked down is, a, is, a, is an 18 hole round of golf. And then every single day when you get up, you are teeing up on a fresh hole for that 18 hole round. And uh, every shot you make during each hole contributes towards your total score for the 18 hole round. And so yesterday, you might have shot a double bogey, which is two over par, and you might be a little bit pissed off about that, the fact that you have uh, had a bad day and a, essentially a bad hole on your 18 hole round. Um, so when you go to tee up on the next hole, all the golfers that watch this will know, it's critically important that you get rid of that feeling of having just done a double bogey on the last hole and that you are clear-minded and ready to play this hole with uh, optimism, and upbeat and an expectation that you're gonna get a birdie or even an eagle. So um, <clears throat> for those that don't know what they are, a birdie is one under par and an eagle is two under par. So um, now the flip of that, the reverse of that is just imagine, so today you might have just shot a birdie today and you've got yourself uh, under par, uh, as in like you've had a really good day uh, because you've shot a hole in less than it, than it should have taken and you go to bed, well, you wanna carry that sense of euphoria, optimism and uh, upbeat kind of thought processes to the next hole, to the next tee, to the next day. So the holes that you shoot where you are over par and your struggle, you've struggled and you've hit too many shots to get into the hole are the days you want to bin and get rid of and the days where you shoot around under par or shoot a hole under par you want to carry through to you with you to the next day because it all contributes to your total round and you want to be able to come off the course at the end of the 18 round, 18 whole round, or the 18 days, 18 weeks, or heaven forbid, 18 months, uh, however long it takes, um, it's just an analogy, however long it takes, you want to be able to come off that course having scored a good round. Like, that's the whole idea of it. So just because you have a bad hole on a bad day doesn't mean that you've messed up the whole round. And if you are on fire and you're having an amazing hole, you want to be able to carry that through so that you keep that momentum going. So now there is a gazillion ways in which you can do that. You know, one of those might be some videos that you can see around you here uh, because there's lots of upbeat, positive uh, messages in here on things you can do. Surrounding yourselves uh, with positive people. Um, 
writing down what made the day good, you know, what was it that you recognized that made that whole day positive and upbeat. There's lots of ways you can do it, but it's just really this core base. I didn't want to run for more than five or six minutes. So I hope you found that useful. We're going to keep posting these up. These are specific to the COVID-19 lockdown and the pandemic and the fact that so many of us are sat at home trying to get the best out of this opportunity. And it, uh, this conversation I was having with this chat this morning is just, I just think it's critically important that um, I personally feel like I have a sense of responsibility of making sure I bang the drum so that people don't end up going back to work not having taken the fullest advantage of being at home. So, and there are so many positive things that you can do that will, um, that, 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 so that you see this opportunity as a gift rather than um, a hindrance or a bore. So um, stay positive, stay safe, stay upbeat. I hope you found it useful. Please do give us a click on the subscribe button because it really does help the channel. Um, hundreds of videos in here already and hundreds more to come. Um, we look forward to your comments, your likes and your shares and we'll catch up with you on the, on the next video but I'm going to say bye for now.